So today I am finishing up planting out this bed with some lettuce. I've got two different kinds. I don't have a lot of room here, but I think I can squeeze some in uh, right on the edge at the end. So basically I'm just making a trench. I do have some onions growing here. I only need about six inches between the onions. Now it does say eight inches for the lettuce, but I think we'll be able to make it. So we're just gonna make a trench. Now the trench doesn't have to be very deep. It's actually quite shallow. So before I start planting, I come out and I just make these little tag ends and I put in how far spacing because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm actually seeding this, uh, putting seeds in a lot closer than they should be and then I'll, I'll just kind of uh, thin them out over time. Anyway, that lets me know the variety and the, the distance. Now, uh, so this one is the outrageous. And you want a fair amount of seeds because we are gonna over plant this. This is going to end up being way too many. All right, so now we're just going to cover those back over. I mean, it's that simple, guys. I mean, it's not hard to, to garden. And if you've done it before, most of you probably have more experience than me. But if you have, you know it's simple. It's not hard. All right, and then I'm gonna do one more trench. Merrillville Saison lettuce. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm sure it's probably not. That's what that looks like. It's a beautiful looking leaf lettuce. Then we simply just water it in. It says on the packet here, seven to 10 days. I've never had lettuce take that long. Usually about five days, four days for me, every time I've ever planted lettuce. Today is the eighth and we'll see how long this takes to come up. So after just a couple days, five actually, I've got this Saison lettuce sprouting. You can see a bunch of sprouts here. I also, just this morning, this lettuce that I had planted sprout you can see a couple sprouts as they go i'll bring you guys back in a little bit once they do a little more sprouting and you can see them actually fully sprouted and see how well they did so there we go guys we have a pretty good distribution of seedlings and then we've got these starting this is the outrageous which is a red and you can see that the seedlings have like a little red tint to them they're harder to see but I still got pretty decent amount of sprouts they're not fully come in I don't I don't think but soon they they will all come in so I've got my drip irrigation system running right now because it's a little dry and these sprouted up actually three days ago and they take a while so once they first sprout up they're gonna be small like this for a while uh, it, it took if you look at this side, it took quite a while for these to reach this big. And they're still not huge, but they always start slow. So I'll let these start to grow up a little bit, and then I'll thin them out. I mean, there's definitely areas where they need to be thinned out. They're a little thicker. There are areas that there's not a whole lot of sprouts that came up. I should get a good distribution along this line here. And the same thing I, at one point soon, the outrageous lettuce. So that, that will take a little more time, I think. Definitely a lot on the Saison lettuce. It's a little quicker to sprout. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.